Laura Hand has one of the most recognizable faces here in central New York. She's been on television for four decades, starting election night, 1972. Walked in the front door wearing a pantsuit. And the receptionist sort of blanched and gasped and said, women here don't wear pants. That changed and Laura hit the ground running. Her first assignment, she had to interview newly elected Congressman Jim Hanley. She says other reporters had pretty much written off his candidacy. So they said, let's have Laura do the interview. So I came over and the couch was literally right here in the studio. And um, the studio manager said, who's Laura Hand? Um, I'm Laura Hand. And then did the interview and, and went from there. And far she went. Two years later, she moved up to anchoring, but still kept covering stories that impacted the community. Probably the most dramatic was when the Tully mudslide happened. Um, part of the mountain fell down. We were on the ground watching as the state police helicopter was rescuing people off roofs of houses. Um, and the helicopter was so low that the blades were chopping the tree limbs. The most fun she had on a story flying and landing a plane with the Syracuse Air Guard. That's why she always wears pants. She says you never know where this job will take you, literally. Case in point, when the frescoes on the ceiling of Assumption Church were being repaired, Laura had to go up nearly nine stories. I'm kind of afraid of heights, so I figured if I was in church, God would protect me. But going up that scaffolding was uh, kind of a scary thing. She's worked with well-known personalities like Steve Croft and Bob Costas and interviewed her share of famous faces over the years. I interviewed Nancy Reagan almost on a fluke. Um, she was in and out of Hancock while her husband was campaigning for president and there was no secret service around. So I walked up to her and we had about a 20 minute conversation. And I'm going, where is your security? Over the years, the technology changed and so did the hairstyles. There were plenty of them. But what always remained constant was a commitment and a passion for covering stories. Every day is exciting. Um, I, I, just, I just love this job. I really, really do. And I hope I'm giving back something to the community. Viewers now see Laura as the anchor of Weekend Today in Central New York. She's been in that role for the past four years and sees it as having breakfast with folks on the weekend. The show is very community focused and Laura also serves as the station's community affairs director. She's also the face of the state fair coverage every year. I love the fair. Um, I think it's a, it's a cameo of central New York in many ways. Um, I love meeting people there as much as doing the stories. At 40 years, there's a little bit of perspective when I do a story. So, you know, and I think that's important. 40 years is a milestone in any business, but Laura has no plans to retire right now. When she eventually does, she says she'll still do something community focused. For now, she continues to cover stories that impact the people of central New York, a place she first came to as a student at Syracuse University and turned into home.